Jason, this is my left arm, this is my right arm, <laughs> this is Apollo Design's right arm. Yeah. Now, the idea behind this, I suspect, is very much to take your existing inventory of not moving kind mm -hmm. of fixtures and make them into the moving kind of fixture. And we've in fact got a Source 4 attached to this with uh, also from Apollo a DMX control iris. And you can mm. see it's just kind of doing its thing. Yep, yeah, we've got it moving around. You could also attach a uh, color changer as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is, they've got extra DMX outputs here yep. and here. Yeah, but not just that. You could actually put a projector on this or even a camera. Right. So, look, a few options there for uh, what you can actually attach. Mm. Um, as far as what you'd want to attach this to, because of the nature of the thing and the fact that it is not, well, I mean, it's, it's um, not what I'd call symmetrically balanced. Mm. Uh, I think you want to have it attached to something that's a pretty stable mm. point in, mm. your, in your rigging system. Uh, you, you don't want it on a, a truss that can move. No, no. Uh, or you want it on something that's got lots of inertia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is why it's really oriented towards theatre. I mean, it they're, is absolutely. they're talking about taking a, a theatre standard stock of, of, of standard fixtures mm -hmm. and then giving you a bit of flexibility to movement. Yeah, and look, I, I, it's it's not you know, it's something you're going to go stick in a nightclub, but nor should mm. it be. It's mm. not designed to be that. It's mm. um, it's very quiet. Yeah, um, you know, you can you totally can solid. see we're sitting here and uh, right next to it, and you can barely even hear it from this sort of distance. Yeah. So once you put this in a grid, you'd yeah, never hear it. It's gone. Um, I don't think the idea is is really mm. you know this with something like the iris, it gives you the option to uh, to use your fixtures. In a, in a production and then reposition them for a different scene. Mm. Um, and you can use it with a fixture running as you can see here, mm. but I think really what you'd do mm. is you'd use this as, as a focusing tool that, to allow you to dynamically refocus yeah. or reposition your luminaires during the course yeah, and of the show. Yeah, and that's how you do it. So it's got 300 degree pan and 270 degree tilt, and it's not lightning fast. It takes six seconds to go 180 degrees. Yeah, but it's not going to make a lot of noise when it does it. No, it's going to be completely silent. So yeah, it's an interesting option. Okay, I have to admit, I haven't really ever seen anything like it. And um, yeah, I guess if you, if you need to get it done, it's probably a pretty good way to go about it. Yeah, yeah, and look, I think, um, uh, I think the way it's set up for, for control is, uh, is nice and easy too. It's in 16-bit mm. mode, so mm. basically, uh, pan, pan fine, tilt and tilt fine. That's your four DMX channel. It's very easy to recall. Uh, the positioning on it seems nice and precise. And um, yeah, follow right arm. Mm.